All right, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back to more Monster Hearts. We heart the monsters. Yes. All of the monsters. Mm. Um, it will probably start with Love... Oh, Miss. by the way, Mr. Worth is asking some games that I'm playing for March. Um, I will probably start with Lovecraft-esque. No, actually. Uh, Lovecraft-esque, though, will be in the first week. Um, mm. The first game up in March will be uh, Octung Cthulhu, which Octum. is like a... Uh, a World War Two sort of like Kelly's Heroes or um, like Dirty Dozen or Inglorious Bastards Lovecraft. So we're down for that. Uh, mm-hmm. Like uh, super, yeah. very. It's gonna be very action packed. Like you're you're gonna be you know blowing up Shogoths with bazookas kind of stuff, right? <laughs> like like it's that's the style of game that that does. Um, I think I'm also doing I'm doing Lovecraft Desk that week. Am I doing Trail of Cthulhu that Monday? I don't know. Uh, Anyways. I think it's the- following week it's the following week okay but yeah a lot of really cool lovecraft games there's so many so many different lovecraft games maybe it might be cthulhu dark i don't know very simple games if you don't know the rules it's no big deal um so anyways let's let's get back to the yeah Uh, i was surprised that uh uh, tremulous wasn't on the list yeah i'm i'm an idiot and need to put tremulous on there because that's um that's (laughs) powered by the apocalypse right yeah yeah Mm -hmm. yeah it's so that that will be on that list. I'll I'll make a day somehow to, to make it work. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, let's let's get back to, to Monster Hearts. Yeah. So, um, so we just revealed that uh, we just we just showed that 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 the lock had some sort of strange um, puzzle encryption that resembled <clears throat> the puzzles on the um, on the posters. Um. I was kind of fiddling. I was kind of fiddling around with the lock for a second. I think I, um, I think I motioned back to like everyone. I'm like, are any of you good at like puzzles? I, I'm, I'm not really. Uh, I'm presuming none of the rest of you are taking AP calculus right now, seeing as I'm in the only class we have, and you kind of using familiar. Um, I kind of, I kind of gesture at myself like very proudly, and I'm like, AP stat. All right. <laughs> Alistair kind of shrugs. Uh, not really my... Uh, not in my wheelhouse, exactly. Yeah. But Me not either. really. Um, I mean... Yeah, not really. It was just mortal, not good at anything. Do you want to take a crack at it, Jesse? Yeah, already. Give it here. Um, and then I, I'm, like, walking up to it. Yeah, I back away from the lock and let you do whatever fucking eldritch magic you're about to do that I'm not <laughs> yet aware of. So I think, um, okay. So what are you what are you going to do to try to open this lock? In fictionally, yeah. What's actually happening fictionally? The what's actually happening fictionally is I am I'm like pouring like demon power into it. <laughs> But it looks like I'm just like solving it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just like make three turns. So you're, okay. you're just you're just fucking around with it until it opens, basically. Yeah. Or based on the demonic power. Or maybe I like turn it three times, but then I do this creepy like insect thing with my hands, and then just like start like. Oh yeah. So wait, I think master solving the Rubik's cube. So yeah, is this yeah. is this one of your dark powers that lets you do this, or do you think you're gonna um you have this just requires a um a, this is just a tense situation? Um, I could go either way with that because okay. what I could do I is think, I could elsewise power into another infernal move, and then I could. Yeah, I I think I think basically mechanically, I'm giving you the option of doing that or making a hold steady check. Yeah, I think. Let's hold steady. Okay. Uh, so drop drop some two d six. Yeah, and I think I'm going to drop a little two d six. No two d six on here. Yeah. yeah. Tell and this is. I'm going to. And you're you're rolling with cold, by the way. You're adding your cold. Which is bad. Yeah. So so you're you're <laughs> dealing you're dealing with this ebon lock, uh, mm-hmm. that's like that is clearly um not a normal lock at all. And you're you're focusing on using the divine stuff, um, the holy trigonometry or whatever it's called. Uh-huh. And um, we see we see like the beautiful mind and like some like Lovecraft script like merged yeah. together oh, yeah. in, in your brain. <laughs> like, I'm onto the you screen know? and it's yeah. in like relight. Yeah. 
really like good. Latin words and blood and shapes and yeah. symbols, and and we see you like crack the code of this, but you're like tense and sweaty. So so give me the hold steady. Yeah. And Alistair is fascinated. Yeah. Just like I think Alistair is like this. Is- as soon as like you know how when you turn a Rubik's cube, there's like a, a an arc of it where nothing matches up anymore. But mm-hmm. then when you make the turn, it matches up. Whenever the turn is like consummated, all of Alistair sees all of the square sides flash into like this turning octogram sort of thing. So like all the squares turn to make that eight pointed star, and then that's what's happening every time. Sweet. Also, I'm, since I'm pouring like Eldritch power into it, I'm using Elsewise power to get my move that gives me plus two to the roll. Okay. So. Oh, okay. And so, uh, yeah, Alistair like is, is like looking over your shoulder, and then when he sees the octogram thing, he kind of draws back for a second, uh, like not sure if he's seeing what he's seeing, but then then like leans forward again because he can't help himself. I think. Awesome. Um, Okay, I I'm like I, I think I'm like you know just like one-handedly texting on my phone while I vape, um, but I do <laughs> think I throw like a sideways glance over to it and like as I see him doing this, I don't acknowledge it, I don't say anything, and I don't even double take, but I just kind of like in my head I, I go like all right yeah I see what's going on, cool, because like I I kind of just know what that is. I get that he's probably paranormal in some way, but I don't. So, say anything about it. so on a so on a seven and nine um, when you when you hold steady. Um, you can you can choose to either you keep your cool, or you pick an option from from the ten up list. But you also gain the terrify condition. And so an option on the ten up list is um, you can ask me a question about the situation. You can remove a condition. You can carry one forward during this scene. So you you could basically do one of those and gain the terrify condition, or um, you can just keep your cool. Well, I'll definitely take the terrify condition because I have nothing out. So <laughs> okay, I can just erase that later. In like in just a second, um, so I'm going to take the terrified condition. Okay, so um, what would you like to do? Would you like to ask me a question about the situation, um, or would you like to remove a condition? I don't think you can remove a condition after you just can't remove a condition. Yeah. So, um, or would you like to carry one forward? Um, it's a tough choice between carrying one forward and asking about the situation. I think since I'm curious, I'm going to ask about the situation. Like, what's who made this lock and like what's what's this lock really from um that's a really good question uh the lock comes from um ooh uh it had so it, it comes from a particular uh locksmith like an industrial like a like a weird um obscure kind of Halliburton-y lock company um, you see that they they typically make medical grade locks, and that these locks are typically uh, sold to um, mental institutions. Oh shit! Uh, in in Great. a way. Um, <laughs> so I think it's like Eldritch Brothers or something like that. <laughs> no, 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 no. It would be um be like Dunnage Brothers or something. Yeah. Oh yeah. Dun Dun. Yeah. Uh, Dunnage yeah. locksmithing. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. Except yeah. the the owners have the Innsmouth look. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, perfect. So that's what it is. It's um Dunwich, Dunwich Locksmithing is the company. Awesome. So maybe I fumble around with it like way too much. Like instead of like me solving this perfectly, it takes me three minutes to solve it and I'm you can visibly see I'm getting more and more angry with myself. Hmm. Until so, I just like start, like the first two minutes I'm okay. Minute three, things start going horribly. Like you start getting concerned for me because I'm like starting to like do the self harm thing where I'm just like, I like grab keys from my car out of my pocket and I just start like carving into my left arm and like I put this in back in my pocket and I'm just like. 30 seconds later, I'm hitting myself in my cheeks and stuff so, like that. Okay, so Al- oh, Alistair is going to put his, his uh, head on your shoulder and be like, look, I- I- I've been there and, you know, 
Yeah. Whether or not we can even get in here, it, it's okay. You I'm know? fine. I'm frustrated. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I know. So are you frustrated or terrified? It's it's supposed to be terrified. And, I'm. Um, I think you probably. It, it's be, like how I because like the thing I'm doing with the self harm thing is I'm relieving my own stress. I like I'm. Oh okay. Like okay. I'm, I'm gonna like. Maybe I. Th this is what happens. Like I do the just like the regular thing at first, and then I like pull the lock off, and okay. then I'm like, okay, everybody, go inside. Take a look outside. I'm gonna take a breather for a second. Okay. I was um, if I can like put a little thing on this. I was thinking more maybe you were getting terrified by the fact that this is actually something that's stopping you, which you're not used to something you can't just like fucking overpower. That's part of it too, because I'm like thinking of everything. Mm -hmm. And like it's weird to come across just like an object that you can't just force your way through. Like yeah. you need to have something that's like beyond your power. It resists your will. <laughs> yeah, I I think um yeah I was thinking right. something along the lines of like yeah of the you're terrified of the implications of an of a Duns with uh, lock being here. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, that too. Yeah, as it, that it's something to do with a certain like the implication that it's a type of seal or something like that, mm -hmm. and that like it's it's like an elder sign that like prevents something from from being in here or the other way around. Yeah, maybe there's a flashback to like conspiracy theory websites that are like <laughs> connecting them to. <laughs> Like weird satanic stuff yeah. and uh -huh. the Illuminati and stuff when like you were that. You're researching to be an infernal. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Ask.com how to be infernal. <laughs> to be First developed by Adam Weishaupt. And I think okay, so I think I think that the shed um so the, the shed door is open, and um, it just looks to be like a regular shed uh, at first glance. Um, it appears to be. Um, just, just like rows of, of the various like um, old old sports equipment are in here, um, and then like towards the back you see a lot of like landscape implements, um, like weed whackers, um, uh, dust blowers, or like you know, um, I forget what they're called. Yeah, it's dust blowers, I guess is what they're called. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Nope. You know those like those backpacks with the with the, the air, air with blowers. The yeah, okay. Yourself. You got it. We got you. We got you. Got you. Right. We on you. Um, yeah, yeah, additionally, yeah. though, um, there looks to be a bunch of like containers in the back, like like giant, um, opaque, uh, plastic uh, bins, like stacked on top of each other in the back. Mm -hmm. um, and they all are labeled things like um, they they all have stamps of different things that say uh, like biohazard warning on it, or mm -hmm. or you know like that kind of stuff, like do not. Um, keep out of reach of children Don't touch. Uh, like you know Very like bad. toxic yeah <laughs> like you know like swallow hazard like all of these symbols yeah, are yeah. like all over these these bins like, they're um, clearly medical and like they're like medical sealed bins i think i walk in and i'm just like um i love tetanus as much as the next girl but does someone else want to like maybe try to open this stuff like i'm not i'm not getting a good vibe from all this you want, you, you want me to try to open it <laughs> Um, <laughs> do I have to try to manip? Okay, like out of question, out of character question. Do I, should I actually try to actively manipulate you, or do you think you would just go for it? If you like, want to spend a string on me, you can. Well, that's it's, what it I'm seemed asking. like you were just gonna do, do it anyways, to, or would you just do it? I mean, I. One second. Wait, let me see some of the... like, Do I actively need to try to get you to do something, or will you just do it of your own volition because you care for me? Well, it sounds like you're not trying to do it yet. Um, it sounded like well, you that seem, you were. You seem pretty like eager to like go ahead. Well, and, okay, yeah. yeah. I, I ask. I ask first, and then like, do you want me to do it? I mean, it. I don't know. I guess it's pretty. I mean, pretty like, good. I'll do it or like whatever. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I'll do it. I mean, I don't care. Whatever. 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 I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Me too. I'll do it. I don't care. Okay, so I don't. You're not having me spend a string for that. You're just. You're just I'm. I guess I, I. I like say it like very quickly, but then I'm like, oh, I mean, well, I mean, there's biohazard stuff. It'd be probably be dangerous, and stupid. Yeah. To do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's All exactly right. what happens. 
Like you do, you step up because you want to prove yourself, and then you're that's immediately great. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, um, or whatever is worth you, it. Mm. you, you socially responded with eagerness, but then you're like, oh, but I'm waiting to get that reciprocated and validated. Oh yeah, I want. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're like, yeah, yeah. oh, but actually, but before I be, get I mean, you know, too overboard. Yeah, it's whatever uh, or whatever. Yeah. Shit, I might spend a string on you to get that. Mm. Do it. <laughs> Do I want to? I have four. You got four, um, and we got like yeah. 20 minutes left, so. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and spend a string to have you hold steady against this, um, the, the Eldritch boxes and try to, like, keep your cool and, like, get one of these down to open it up and see what's inside. Okay. I don't think I can influence your role in any way. Uh, not from the string I just meant at all to like. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Help you be okay. I don't think I have anything that'll let me. It's with cold, so that's that'll be interesting. So we'll see what happens here. Don't, don't kill us. <laughs> okay, I'm rolling with cold. To, uh, yeah, so I oh, sorry, so I like um yeah you say like um I guess oh how how are you spinning the string? Are you like oh yeah? So I think <laughs> I, I think I turned you and I think I've like noticed that you have some sense of yeah. I'm definitely like I don't care. I cross my arms. Especially like the like. I don't care. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, you're Bay or whatever, but, like, I don't gotta do it. <laughs> yeah, basically. Like, like, I turn back to you, and I, um, I kind of, like, I kind of, like, fiddle with my hat, and I kind of, like, preen my, um, the jacket that I was wearing, and I was like, but, but, I mean, you know, what if there's something bad in there? I mean, you're probably a lot more resilient than I am. I mean, you can probably deal with it, right? I mean, like, look at me. I'm so frail. I mean, yeah, I can totally do it. Totally, if you want me, yeah, I'll do it for you. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, you're you're athletic, and you're, you know... I mean, I don't know about all that, but I mean, I'll... I'll... No, 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 you're great, you're, you're <laughs> strong, everyone loves and admires... Dude, everyone what? talks about how swole you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what? And I think I kind of, like, gesture back to the rest of the group, and I'm like, right, yeah, he's, what... he's athletic, he's built, right? Yeah, I know, like, I want, I really, really, really want to know what Alistair and, and Jesse are doing when this is happening. Where you're like, no, no, you're totally super strong, you're awesome, you should totally, oh, me, no, I couldn't, I'm so frail, I couldn't do this. Anymore. Like, what are you guys doing? It's to like, their benefit. Yeah, let, the more, yeah. let, 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 the, let the normie do it. <laughs> well, we don't know yet, but, like. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's just funny out of character all the people with powers are yeah. like no let this let, let this let the, let the human do it yeah <laughs> okay yeah so i'm like yeah totally i mean i don't i don't even look back to alistair and jesse i'm like i mean yeah if, i mean yeah if, if you want me to do this i'll totally do it and i walk up and oh, I think are, are they like barrels or are they like boxes oh right no they're, they're bins that, they're like plastic that... bins stacked on top of one another okay yeah okay there's yeah, like, like nine there's like nine bins in the back I make okay. a you know what I mean? Like that, like that, that, like blue, like the dark blue bins with gray, um, gray lids on them. You know? Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like yeah, Nick. What were you gonna say, Nick? Can I make a minor addendum? Um, mm -hmm. I think like right before you do that, I'm like, oh, don't do it for me. Do it for yourself. <laughs> well, then, well, well, now I don't want to do it. <laughs> well, I mean, well, I mean, like obviously, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> a bunch of emotions come over Al uh, Alistair's face. Like there, there's, there's some jealousy. There, there's some relief. The, 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 then there's like anxiety over the, the, you know we shouldn't be doing this at all uh, <laughs> and and then like a, a moment of resolve yeah. where he's like oh I'll just do it myself and then no no <laughs> <laughs> so the the uh, uh, on balance he, he winds up not doing anything but right <laughs> so you put a step forward and then then politely take yourself back <laughs> yeah yeah so I, yeah so I walk up to the bins and um. Like, All right. start moving the things to open them, open them up. Give, definitely give me a hold steady here. Yeah. R what? What? So you rolled uh, roll with cold. Two D six plus cold. Oh, I, I pushed the I pushed the macro on the sheet, and it wants me to do a reason. I'll just oh, leave. oh, um, because 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 you're opening a terrifying eldritch bin. There you go. Because reasons with cold. Oh my god! And you're all a six. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Let's oh, do this no. thing. Um, <laughs> so I think I think you open the bin. And uh, revealed inside is a um, it's a human it's a it's a well preserved uh, like calf and ankle and foot. Oh jeez! Uh, like like medically see like cut like cut. Like ice and, truck killer Dexter exsanguinated yeah. kind of limb. <laughs> yeah, and um, all of a sudden you you behind you all you hear the janitor go. What are you kids doing here? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I like I lift up the thing and just see human body parts, and I just immediately like, Gah! 
and like, like yeah. the, the, and, the and you turn around and, and I like fall back. And and you you see like the janitor and you see like the groundskeeper uh, who probably looks like the groundskeeper Willie. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> only what are you only doing like in my shed. <laughs> yeah. What are, um, you doing? what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing in my shed? Yeah, and, like you know he's he's like holding like a rake. Uh, he like always holds a rake. Like there's like nothing to rake in the middle he of the spring. He's home with his wife. Yeah, he's he a rake. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think he probably upgraded from a pitchfork at one point. Um, <laughs> he, like he, he literally he looks like um, yeah he looks like Willie and and like the groundskeeper and the the janitor's there, um, like holding some some other kind of like broom or something, and they're like, what are you doing? Like what are you kids? You can, you kids can't be in here. Uh, did any of the rest of us catch a glimpse of what was in the container? Or uh, just, no, uh, I, I think no, we just. I think, I think all we see is the reaction by by Tim. Okay. Um, yeah. So like the, the the lid clattered to the ground and I like fell back onto my ass, yeah, just like yeah. ah, like shouting in terror, basically. Yeah, and then immediately behind you are are the two um two old dudes, creepy creepy old dudes. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> Worst. <laughs> That's really good. I wish I thought of that. <laughs> the mystery meat. <laughs> All right. Uh, um. Hmm. How do we react to this shit? Yeah. Yeah. So, I know. Um. Scram! <laughs> no, 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 no. We need to confront this shit. I, yeah. I, 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 I point him at the uh, like the bins, and I'm like, "What? Why the hell is that stuff in here? That stuff." And then um, yeah, I, I, I don't see, even want—I don't even want to call it by what it is. I'm just like well, that, that, that. You look at Will, like Willie. Oh, Willie looks. Willie Willie looks at the uh, the janitor, and um, uh, I guess I guess his name's Murphy. And uh, it's like, um, they look at the bins, Murphy. What are we gonna do? So, and he's like, uh, and, and Murphy's uh, like, he, uh, he, he sorry. Oh. Uh, Sorry, it, it was open. We were just like kind of, you know, checking it out, and uh, we, we. I think I reach across and smack Alistair in the chest, like shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I've, I put away like I put away like my vape pen and my phone at this point. I'm like, serious mode, and I'm kind of tense. All right. Um, well, I think. Um, okay. Well. All right. They want. Okay, they they want you to be quiet. Like, they don't want to kill you. Um, they they need you to shut up about this. Um, uh, so I think. Do um, they say as much or? Yeah. So I think I think um, what they would do is something to the effect of uh, uh, Murphy. Uh, Murphy kind of like st- like s- spreads his legs a little bit and kind of like centers himself in the middle of the um, of the exit. So you like it would be harder for you to run by or anything. And he's like. You kids, uh, and like in like a very like intimidating way, is like, you kids cannot come back to this shed. This shed is not for students. There is some dangerous equipment in here. And what? what do I you stab him in the back with a ritual dagger. Oh, holy crap! Okay, sure. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> and I mean, you... like everybody who like as the body like falls down, like you see, I've like. Well, let's lash out physically. Yeah, you gotta let's, roll. Let, we gotta yeah. lash out physically first, bro. Oh my god! So if you're killing a dude, you better la- Yeah, you need to roll. Yeah. I have something I kind of want to do, but I don't know how it. How well, it I was goes. assuming that you guys are gonna try to end up manipulating them, and someone's gonna get leverage on it, someone else. But um. Okay, so I mean, I'm cool. I'm cool oh, with Jesse's stabbing. Jesse's gone ahead and fucking gone ape shit on them. There's nothing. We Wild can. card. Wild card. <laughs> Eight. Eight. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, when you lash out physically, when you do, you harm them, but choose one. They gain a string on you, or they can deal one harm to you for free. And if they want to, you become your darkest self. Um, oh, no, 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 no. That's not good. <laughs> uh, what is the Infernal's darkest self? Means uh, I can't use my powers. Yeah, I think, I think we do see you go to your darkest self. Um, well, you kind of just used a dagger. I think the yeah. powers are kind of moot at this point. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's something to do with your, um, maybe the dagger being sa- like satiated with like blood, like actual blood. 
I, yeah, I think it just like was. it like it like overwhelms you and you're just your brain wires just get kind of cross and you just oh, immediately yeah. <laughs> divert to to dark self state you know what i mean like this yeah. is like oh this is what's supposed to happen like this is this is some old school shit right <laughs> like for for being an infernal power uh with a ritual dagger um yeah. yeah so like i think you stab him and he like goes down and like he's still breathing but like you're left behind, like, you're there standing with a bloody dagger, and what does your dark self look like to everybody? Well, as per... Yeah, so I, I want you to just... Thing, yeah, yeah. It says, you can't get what you need anymore. The world has left you cold and alone, shivering in the wake of your own addictions. The dark power will make some open-ended demands of you, which is... Oh. Oh, right. so so you actually using the so so let me let me re re let me go back one minute and let me talk about a little bit of then what happens with the ritual dagger. I think using the ritual dagger in a way that's not a ritual and putting and blood on it actually like voids the warranty. Um, so, it does. <laughs> so like you, um, not just that, but I think you might. Oh my nice. god, um, I think. Oh my god, um. I think there's got to be something else. I think you, uh, when you cut them, um, I, I want to, you see, you, you see, I like when ideas. he, when the, when the guy fall, no, like when the guy falls down, you know what happens when he falls down, you see on the back of his neck, uh, like his hair moves and you see a tattoo of an eight pointed pentagram or eight point, eight, eight pointed pentagram, <laughs> eight pointed <laughs> uh, octogram. Now that is some Cthulhu shit right there. Uh, <laughs> that you um, that is some non-Euclidean yeah. geometry. Yeah. So you you um, yeah. I think you ended up hurting a a patron of your god, of your of your dark one, and he's Ooh. not too pleased with it. And sure. um, I think all of a sudden, yeah, you feel a sense that you've just been you just like you did something wrong, like you 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 had a sense that like you you felt right doing it. But then all of a sudden you felt like a horrible sense of, um, I mean, I don't want to describe exactly how your emotions are, but, um, yeah, the scene I, is I, that I and you did that around. and you realize that like, oh man, I just disappointed my dark power God, right? Like in a big way. Yeah. That's yeah. like, that's the feeling that you're in right now. So well, maybe, maybe like, describe. As yeah. we're doing this, like I'm, I'm seeing the rotation of his mom as like, there's like. You know how a greater has like teeth? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you just see like the teeth of like the outside of a greater just moving and rotating. And you see like the bodies of the damned being torn apart, just graded apart. God. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> um, Does ugh. it look at all like you're going to keep attacking him or, or? Yeah, what does it look like to you? Yeah. Mm hmm. I have no idea what I'll do next. Well, I would um, think being lost in these visions, okay. just stuck, dumbfounded in that stance. I think, yeah. um, I think Willie's like, "Holy shit! What the like? You just, <laughs> you just stabbed Murphy! Like, you know, like he's just like screaming, and all yeah. of you guys are there. Mm -hmm. Um, what do you do? I think. Like, what what does everybody? Of watching, of watching the guy get stabbed and fall, and yeah. like starting to bleed everywhere, it yeah. triggers something like super primal in me. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, is, are you a hold steady or what? Is this a hold steady for you? I'm not it's, holding it's... steady. Oh yeah, that's okay. not what I'm about to do. Okay. <laughs> yes, um, and it triggers in me, um, and just like hearing the guy scream, I just like jump onto the guy, bearing my fangs. Yes, vampire. On um, on Murphy or Willie, on the surviving guy. Okay, Will, uh, so Willie, Murphy okay, so is the one who got stabbed. Um, yes, and just kind of like small black tufts of fur pop out. You see, like some of my f features get a little bit more like bat-like. Bat -like. My yeah. eyes sort of like turn yeah. to a golden. <laughs> <laughs> you're yeah. So you're like yeah. Okay. Um, and then I just like kind of just tackle this guy to the ground with my like with my teeth on his throat. Um. And I kind of just like hold him there for a second and then tear back. Lash out physically. His jugular out. Oh my God, I don't think we're playing Monster Hearts, right? <laughs> <laughs> we are. But I don't. I don't Do care. This is. I, I mean, yeah. I'm playing Monster Hearts in the background. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh shit! You succeed with a ten. I'm um, good at killing people. <laughs> the harm, so so the harm is great. 
um, and you gain one string on them. Um, Not sure that's going to matter, but okay. <laughs> yeah, um, I think they're incapacitated. Okay, um, so I've not done enough to kill them? Um, no, I think they're probably... I, I'm giving you the choice of either killing them, says you rolled 10. I'm giving you control over the situation. I believe that you have the effect of being able to... If you wanted to kill them, or if well, you wanted to leave them unconscious... More, like, harm planned for them, that was no, my concern. No, okay. I. this is um, enough. Then they're definitely mortally wounded. I'm not going to say instantly dead from a major throat wound, but they're fucking no, dumb. Well, I mean, you're you're also a vampire, so I feel like that you have control over your your more like your 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 um your martial ability. I guess is what I'm trying to say, right? Like you you could, you have control over if you plan to kill this guy or incapacitate oh, him. I'm, I'm and I'm giving you discretion it, fictionally to. Like, I've done a complete like blood frenzy, and I've gone into okay, like this yeah. So he's primal. out. Okay. So he's dead. Uh, Perfect. Yes. Yeah. I mean, is Thank this something you. Something that uh, that happens immediately, or is there? Uh, do you like take some time uh, drinking? Because uh, I, I think I probably like, if he can intervene, will. But uh, if it happens too fast, it happens too fast. I mean, I'm not. I'm not actively trying to drink blood from this guy. I'm literally just killing him, and then probably going to lick up whatever's left after that. Point. Okay. Holy. It's crap. more a primal instinct to kill than to feed. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh yeah, your nose toe. Oh man, Mr. Worst has a great idea from su a suggestion from chat here. Uh, you, you, your nose turns like the nose of a vampire bat. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like I'm yeah. thinking of like oh, that's so the scary. Look in Witcher Three, yeah. and I'm trying to like emulate like that aspect yeah. of it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the the more awesome. the more grotesque primal bat human kind of thing. Yeah. Exactly. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. Yes. Love that's it. That's perfect for me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, it's so hot. I've never been more aroused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, like, you just tear apart this guy. Like, he's just dead. Um, so, there's no more scream, like, no more nothing. Um, you just hear, like, some, like, birds call and, like, fl flutter off. Um, mm -hmm. So then, Jesus. So, Jesse um, is standing there with a the dagger. Um... The, the two janitors aren't moving at all so then we all we see then is, is Ale so what's Alistair doing and what's Tim doing in, in, in um, this just like instantaneous just like bloodbath yeah so like Tim like kind of like did another like oh my gosh and then like backed against the wall of the shed and just is watching Celeste like Celesta like I don't know why um well, that's like, the obvious place you go to for some um like killing and then just like like looking up whatever's left and then uh Celesta, what the hell? What are you doing? Um, I don't answer because I'm still like, I'm not like fully transformed or anything, but I'm still in this like just bloodlust state where I can't. I'm in it too. Can, I, can, can I make a, can I, can I make a slight suggestion to you, for, for you, Nick? Sure, yeah, what? Could you that you just start like recanting in like some old Germanic tongue or something oh, like that? Yeah. Like, oh, like, yeah, being, no, like, 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 like I, I bathe in the blood of my I enemies in old German. My, shoulder, my face is like mutated further and yeah, I just like right. scream something in like, Proto-Hungarian. Yeah, and, right, right. Yeah, like something like yeah. very, very old. Okay. Um, like, very harsh, very... Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. okay um, that sounds bestial because... Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you ignore me and then I kind of like look... I, I like, like take a few deep breaths like... And then I like kind of like use the wall to let myself stand up and like dust off my dust off my back and then I very carefully walk over and put my hand on your shoulder Celesta and I'm like oh okay hold on uh, uh, okay so uh, uh, Alistair uh, was kind of being oh crap oh crap I'm, 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 I'm too late shit uh, sorry uh, yeah but uh, as uh, uh as Tim moves forward towards the, the I, I assume not Celesta. completely uh, 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 yeah. under self control, uh, Celesta. S yeah, he uh, pulls out uh, the the doll, and, and uh, uh, says, uh, hey, you, know, you just kind of hold it out in my vision. Do you, sh yeah. so you, sh you show the doll to Tim, or is it kind of just like you're, you're you're like imposing yourself in front of Tim and showing the doll? Like you're like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, almost holding it out like a okay, uh, 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 like a cross. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, all, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, awesome. I enjoin and bind you. Yeah, you will. Uh, 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 oh my god. 
uh, Holy shit. refrain from the, the lust that drives you. You. Uh, um, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, this is string on Alistair. Hmm? Oh I'm god. spending my string on Alistair, so in order to do this, you have to hold steady. Okay. Alright, hold steady. 2d6. Okay. Holy uh, shit, guys, this is amazing. <laughs> 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 I mean, oh my god, this is... That's uh, cold? Yes. Yes, yeah, yes it's cold. cold. Yeah, basically, so as you do that, it... it, it, it I'm not I sure mean, if you are you're staring or aren't, down! It looks, like you're <laughs> it looks like you're threatening at her, and so I'm just like, I'm like, just glaring at your, uh, just glaring at you, and I like, look like I'm about to like, like, tackle you or something. Yeah, I th I think it's a, a summation of the entire series of events here, and now you're staring down a freaking vampire beast <laughs> with, with a tiny doll. So I think, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's it's gonna be effective, hopefully. But let's let's see what happens. Uh, so oh, this isn't okay. even my darkest. Oh my god, box cars! <laughs> No, you need to let me let, let let me let me get myself killed, damn it. <laughs> so, yeah, you 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 get you get exactly what you want. So, um on on a 10 up, you keep your cool and you choose one. Um you can ask me a question about the situation, you can remove a condition, you can carry one forward during the scene. How the fuck do I get out of this? <laughs> uh You're trying to cast a spell, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, totally. Then okay. probably the carry forward is the best yeah. option. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So. Oh my God. Uh, okay. Yeah. I, I guess my my glaring and like threatening like hey knock it off it just it, it doesn't yeah, even it, it doesn't really start, doesn't uh, like you don't even notice yeah. me doing it yeah. yeah yeah you're just like shut the fuck up I'm saving you I got this <laughs> stop saving me God <laughs> God this is so good <laughs> don't save me okay um uh, so, so how does, uh, this work um. So you, you keep your cool and and you gain one forward, but I think that also means that you um you calm down Celesta. Oh, okay. So I I don't. Oh, you don't want him to cast the binding spell on the hex itself. Because he was you... trying to cast a binding spell. Yeah. Oh, I okay. Use the one forward on the hex. Oh, okay. Then yeah, yeah then cast the binding spell. Okay. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I'm sorry. Oh, no worries. That's only because um I don't I didn't read your playbook, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Eric. Uh, I trust. I trust you. Hey, this is Wog. We barely read the books. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I'm still trying to figure out uh, what stat I roll for it. I mean, I I'm imagining it's gonna uh, be oh dark, dark. Roll with dark. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, probably yeah. dark. Yeah. Okay. It's us. Okay. God, guys, this has been incredible. <laughs> no. This last scene is just everything's Ooh, hitting, nine. hitting the fan. Um, okay. So what, hap so what happens on, on a... Okay, so uh, mm -hmm. it works, but I uh, choose one. Unexpected uh, side effects. Unexpected side effects. <laughs> oh, yeah, totally. I mean, that got to go with that, right? That'd be great, yes. Uh, do you have a suggestion for the side effects, Nick? I do. Uh huh. <laughs> you managed to find me, but this this like partial transformation is like permanent until you can find some way to revert it. Okay. So, like, I'll be bound, but I'll be stuck in this state until you can do something to fix it. Oh man. Oh man. I love it. So um, like visibly, I'm some half vampire human hybrid thing at the moment. So like, you're actively gonna have to try to like. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah. You know, I, so I, that's so okay. like, how do you, um, does the binding work? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's your spell. So like, decide, do something cool with it. Yeah, and, unless, <laughs> unless, uh, yeah, RP Glory. Unless you have a better idea, man. I want to. I want to hear what you. Oh yeah, yeah, don't. You don't have to take my suggestion. Yeah, because honestly, I don't. I don't know what what a good binding thing would be for this. Um, I'm I'm willing to let let you decide or say see if one of the viewers have an idea. Okay. Um. Well, you mean in terms of just what form the the uh, uh, it takes? Yeah, uh, yeah. So, uh, it probably just looks like. Uh, it doesn't have to be physical, by the way. So okay. If you're just yep. thinking about it in physical terms. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, if you uh, if you look at. Uh, uh, Look at Celesta with uh, your eyes kind of unfocused, 
you can kind of make out this band of, uh, of light, uh, like right at uh, a little bit below shoulder height, sort of like, uh, uh, you know, uh, sort of a traditional uh, 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 binding. And uh, uh, the, there's uh, 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 sort of floating within that light, there are uh, uh, symbols, but it, it's not like the, uh, not like uh, the standard uh, hieroglyphics or the, uh, the sacred geometry, or is it, yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah. It's uh, I'm getting uh, it. highly idiosyncratic. Um, just has yeah. like personal meaning uh, to Alistair. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, cool. And it, it feels like um, I don't know if uh, Celesta has that. Uh, like the uh, must be invited in uh, uh, limitation that uh, uh, you know some vampires have, or uh, I don't personally have that move. Okay. No. Okay. Well, uh, you have that feeling. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I follow you. So it's oh, both physical. Would, unless, and honestly, uh, vampires in this world. Uh, since, no. Uh, you honestly, have, none of them do. That. I mean, that, that no, works. actually, if you don't mind. Um, I actually like that more than being stuck in the vampire form. Is that another random vampire vampiric idiosyncrasy shows up permanently on her? Oh, and okay, that would, yeah, be a that good works one. too. Oh, yeah, cool. Okay, okay. So, like, I I'm not gonna mark the move obviously, but it it will be as if I have the I have to be invited move, and I don't gain strings on people. Basically. Yeah, you don't gain the strings. Yeah, cool. it's like a, it's like a negative thing. Okay, yeah. Um, cool. Is your I mean, spell will, like done now? You're like okay, um, okay. So, so, um, what, so you yeah, see her report. Guess, Celesta before before Tim does something, what does Celesta do now that she has this weird? Well, thing? I think probably after like being in the binding and unable to like reach forward and start like ripping you apart, I like take a second to gaze at the doll, and then like slowly over the next like few seconds, I kind of like revert to my original form, uh, panting, um, spattered randomly with blood. I think, and I, I think at this point, um, you mo you almost hear a um. Like like lightning strikes, and like it like just begins to pour down rain, right? And I think um I think there's a lightning strike, and like the lightning almost like forms one of those oct like octagonal um uh. <laughs> things, like with all the various lightning in it for a flash. Uh, and um, I yes. think in the, in the in the boom of thunder, I think Jesse, you almost hear something being like, "I'm disappointed in you." <laughs> Not upset, just disappointed. I'm not angry. <laughs> in a but very, very paternal, in a very, very paternal way. Gotcha. Um. Yeah. So as as the rain comes, as like the the rain's coming down, um, yeah. Celesta like kind of like leans up and um her vampire form goes away. Uh, I'm walking out with the shed. Hmm. What do you I gotta go have, have a talk with Dad. <laughs> what do you What are you guys gonna do? Like, I walk up to Celesta, and I, I I'm I'm still kind of just glaring at Al Alistair. Yeah. But then I walk up. I, I walk past him up to Celesta, and I just I put I I do that. I put I put my hand on your shoulder, and then like the, the rain's coming down. Like, let's get you inside. I know you don't like rain. So what are you gonna do about the bodies? Is that your poignant ending line? Screw the bodies. <laughs> I am uh, ignoring... Uh, I'm ignoring some blatant problem with my lover. <laughs> so I am marking experience. <laughs> That's fair. So. Uh, and uh, Alistair, uh, now that the situation is sort of resolved, uh, he, he looks at the doll and then looks at Celestia and uh, looks at his shoes. And I don't think I, I don't think I'm fully there. So like, if you're gonna like try to hand it back to me, I'm not like gonna be cognizant of it. Okay. So if you want to like put it away and keep it for another time, you could like technically do that. Okay. So he like halfway gestures like he's uh, gonna give it back, and then stops. And, uh, yeah, and if he sees that you're looking away, kind of, uh, uh, you know, 
too quickly. Uh, back uh, tries to tuck it away. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, uh, attempts to look innocent. Mm -hmm. fails. <laughs> Fucking Tim still realizes that he has it. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. I, I think I'm basically, like, I am alive and awake, but basically, like, catatonic. Like, yeah. I, Okay. Well, I think I think yeah, you're you and um, Jesse are probably you've seen better days right now. You're both pretty exhausted. Yeah. Well, Jesse's lost in like this higher mind's eye nightmare universe right now, and he's kind of just wandering <laughs> fields, going through it. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I like just, the idea that uh, the rain. Um, weirdly enough, I don't think any of the rain hits Jesse. It just falls around him. Oh, that's so cool. That is cool. Yeah, <laughs> it um, falls away from him. Not even yeah, just like it. Well, it rejects him. <laughs> it, re it literally like like repels and dodges you and like goes around swerve yeah so is uh so is tim like pissed off at alistair kind of yeah you did you did yeah. something to her and he's just like oh and you still have the doll so there's there's that whole yeah yeah that and, whole and, thing and it's <laughs> clear and it's clear you guys are doing nothing to do anything with those bodies that are out there right yeah i i'm my entire thing is with celesta i'm like here like stand up i'm gonna take you back to the school well, like, yeah, i'm trying to be like basically at this point we're fucked and we need to leave yeah but pretty much like i mean are you gonna try to like do anything hide the bodies in any way i guess like uh, the best we could hope to do is try to stuff them back in the shed and hope we can come back to it later um so uh jesse is jesse also kind of just standing catatonically no you you can hear him muttering like confident repentance to something oh okay. my god oh just like um. oh my god okay you are indeed oh. all right i know i I know how it ends. Okay, oh, I know how this ends. You are the great octagon. Okay. <laughs> uh, the great octagon in the sky. So, uh, Alistair, I mean, despite the uh, being, uh, you know, having these, these issues over uh, being embarrassed over the doll and all that, uh, is still sort of keeping his head together because of the, that, that crazy hold steady roll. Um, yeah. Yeah, you're just aces. Yeah. Uh, so he looks around the shed for uh, some bleach. Oh yeah, you need anything you need to like do this is in here. Okay. This, you, like you know, you have all sort of equipment um, yeah, at your yeah. disposal in the shed. <laughs> he just like quickly splashes it around everywhere. Okay. Just to, you know, just, I mean, he's not going to hide the bodies, but uh, you know, he, he's going to try and destroy uh, any physical evidence, and then uh, get the hell out of there. Mm -hmm. Can I make a suggestion for, mm -hmm. unless this is Eric's idea already, no. and you can call me on this if it is, for like how we should wrap this up? What? Mm -hmm. um, okay, so my thought is, like we're at this point already, because the counselor was basically a ghost as we've already kind of established there, we didn't have any like infringement on our grades, and this entire thing was a ploy to get us to like discover and take revenge on her murderers. <laughs> why the no? Why the no? It's not. It's, it's not even. It's not that yet. Um, no. Okay. Or I mean, are we are we done? Are we ready to wrap up? Anyone else want to try to solve the puzzle? Three thirty-five. So I don't know if you wanted to. Yeah. Or not. Or yeah. Well, I mean, we we started a little bit late, anyways. So this is okay. about this is about the time where we would end. Um. So. Uh. So you. So so it's clear then. You did not put the bodies back in the bins. Oh yeah. No. I'm. Yeah. At least t Tim didn't. Yeah, that, no, I didn't that would, at all. Uh, involve creating uh, more physical evidence, like uh, yeah. No, you're uh, you're just you're just no. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I think the wind um the wind picks up. Um and uh, like you see like the doors of the of the shed start like going flapping back and forth and like opening and closing with the gusts of winds and stuff. Um, as like the storm gets really worse as as the the rain starts getting from heavy droplets to hail. Mm. Um, and, um, are you gonna, are you guys gonna just leave the shed yeah. as is? Yeah, Tim, uh, if, yeah, Tim, Tim is, Tim's goal is just get Celesta inside. Like, that is the only thing in his mind right now. Okay. Um, then I think, um, 
I think there's like the the sounds of like air like the the tornado um, sirens go off in the distance. Um, I think we you see more lightning strikes, and um, then we see like the following day, and we see that the school and stuff is fine and intact. But then we go like over to like near where the shed was, and um, the shed just looks locked and and the locks back on it, and there's no bodies. <sighs> Uh, and, and that's where we end and that's where we end oh okay um, mm-hmm. and Alrighty, um then. and i think that if we were going to continue playing i think your summer project or your school project would have been getting away with murder to graduation which would actually be one of the coolest games i think we could probably yes, play that'd be so, oh my like, god that would actually be like an incredible story Oh man! Of you guys now are all That's complicit. Not like design. Yeah, it's like you're all complicit job. in a dark. It's two months of the following, basically. Yeah, like you're you're all, you're all complicit in in a, like you did something bad, and now you're yeah. trying to escape the consequences. I know what you did last summer, but every yeah, I know what you did last summer. Yeah, it's exactly what it is. And, yeah. Um, yeah. And, oh, and it could be monster of the week too. We just have some new supernatural school based thing coming to. <laughs> <laughs> God, so let's let's decompress a little bit. Let's talk about what we liked and what we didn't like, guys. Um, first of all, I want to thank you all for playing, and I want to thank all my viewers for for sticking through. And any thank new any newcomers coming in and and picking this at the end, and realizing we just murdered two groundskeepers <laughs> about some sort of like strange uh, occult type gardening shed. Yeah. Um, so what? Uh, what well, thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. Awesome. So. Um, not your normal monster it. hearts. There was no sex, but uh, <laughs> yeah. I know, right? That sucks. It was still good though. Still oh yeah, really yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it, th- this, um, I I loved it. I love the game. This it's was so... one of yeah. Um, this was definitely one of my favorite one shots that I've done so far. Mm-hmm. Yes. I like this a lot. It, this is one. Of, this is the one. One of the ones where I'm like. I need to see more. I need yeah. to see yeah, more. No, like I, I said, like I would, characters. like I said, like I would, I could see what the what the first season would be like. Mm-hmm. Is now is now you guys yeah. trying to basically I, yeah, make up I, a I, fake I, graduation I, project while your real one is is getting away <laughs> with, with her. We're <laughs> right. balancing the two. Yeah, um, and, especially especially, I, especially yeah. because I chose a more I I realized about about halfway through I was like I designed like the most passive character ever. You yeah. did. So I was like, "Crap! I need something to happen so I can actually do something." And it did. So that was awesome. But yeah, I definitely want to. I would want to see. Yeah, what and now and now what it is? It, it's it's like, caring for the vampiric love, right? And like, yeah, yeah. And 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 the arc for um, lavender uh, and the arc the arc for Jesse would be reconciling with his patron, mm-hmm. um, and, and and like getting that back for like the next episode. And then you know, it's just like, oh, I see and a then, love what, triangle what, and Alistair. Yeah, and and, and, and Al- um, I think. I think Alistair. It. Yeah, I think I think Alistair. Um, oh my God. Okay. Yeah. Between. That, I, I was thinking Alistair. The doll inspires Lucy yeah. in Tim. So I like think, you automatically have. Oh Tom yeah. There. Well, and we and, and, yeah. Tim doesn't care. Hate yeah, but, Alistair. But we see. So yeah. No, we see. We see that the animosity between Tim and Alistair, and like I think we see sort of like the not not quite jealousy, but the um, it, but interest and curiosity between um Alistair and Jesse. In yeah. terms of like net spells mm-hmm. and that kind of stuff and like power, mm-hmm. um, God, it's like it's really good. Yeah, like oh, maybe. Yeah. I I yeah. mean I I, mean, I could su- I would suggest that, but it would be completely up to your guys' players. <laughs> if if uh, Jesse like tried to make up for the the lapse by uh, you know sort of bringing uh, Alistair in on the you know the sort of dark side of uh, the path. Yeah, yeah it's like, oh fuck yeah! Fall for it. Uh, oh my god! Yeah. Invite, invite him to make a character for the LARP. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> exactly. That's what. Yeah. That's what we get him in. Oh my god! Yeah. This game. And then we use the oh. LARP as a cover to do some so, shit. Really this is the, we could we could actually have a game where we play a role playing game in our role playing game. Yeah. Exactly. This is <laughs> this is this is like this is this has just been amazing. That exactly. This is this is exactly where the game would have been going, and this has been so good. Um. But alas, this is a this is a sand mandala, and now we must wipe it away. Um, so everybody, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Let's do some let's do some sh- uh, outros. Uh, let's just let's let's go reverse order again. Uh, Dark lavender. Adam, Hello, what's up? I am Adam slash Dark Lavender Void. 
Um, I have a Patreon where you can get free games. And all you have to do is just like hop on, like patreon.com slash dark lavender void. And like, there's like a post I made with like a link to some of my older games. So you can just grab those. Um, if you, if you like those and feel like supporting me, then you can become an actual patron and pay for like games. Give me money. Give me money. <laughs> give me money. <laughs> yeah. Also, let me give you things for free. So that's fun. The projects are going well. I'm, I'm looking forward to play testing those and actually like doing cool stuff with them. Yeah. Yeah. There's, you have, yeah. you have some pretty cool ideas. I'm not going to lie. I'm really excited for some of them. I'm so, into it. Awesome. Um, uh, RP Jewelry? <laughs> yeah. I'm uh, Brad. Uh, I uh, stream at uh, RP Glory. Um, I do uh, uh, a few games a week uh, regularly. Um, uh, a 5e uh, you know, continuing campaign. Um, uh, a fate game that's... Uh, Currently set in uh, like a, a, a pirates uh, sort of milieu, Pir pirates of the Caribbean kind of stuff. Or yeah, Caribbean? yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, pirates, but with like fantastic elements. Yeah. Um, pirates. Okay. And yeah, we we just broke the world. Uh, nice. <laughs> awesome. Uh, and then the uh, third ongoing one is. Uh, uh, Using uh, Dark Revelations, which is a uh, indie game that uh, uh, you can find by like uh, googling Dark Dark Revelations and RPG, it should or uh, I'll also put it posted to chat. Yeah, I've never heard um, of it. Mm -hmm. um, cool. Yeah, and it's sort of a, a it's a hodgepodge. It's like the post post apocalypse, <laughs> um, and it's got all kinds of wacky stuff. Like I have actually heard of that because of that tagline. Okay, yeah. The uh, yeah, no, like the you, can play, you can play a teddy bear, you can play a robot. I'm playing a roach bot in it right oh! now. Oh! Wait, what's the name of that game? Dark Revelations. Uh, Dark yeah. Revelations. Yeah, no, yeah, now I've heard of it. Uh, one of my one of the podcasts I listened to was talking about that a long time oh, ago. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, cool. and, and um, is there like sentient poop? Isn't there? Is that a oh, thing in it? Wait, what? <laughs> no? There's a lot I, of I, I don't. There's a, there, or like, is there, are there like mushroom people? Or like, there's like, I know there's cockroach people. Um. Yeah. Like, there's all. There's like this game is super wacky. Like, super, yeah, super yeah, wacky. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> there may in cool. fact be, be sentient poop. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it would not. It would not shock me. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um. And then I also do uh, uh demos uh from time to time. Oh, awesome! Got yeah. One coming up on the uh the nineteenth for uh Open Legend uh RPG. Oh, awesome! Uh, oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. That's me. Cool. Brad, awesome, dude. I'm, I I never knew that you did so much stuff. I'm definitely gonna check your stuff out after this. This is great. Cool. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Thank you. And um, uh, Nick. Hello, I'm Matt Damon, uh, also known as. <laughs> God. Um, you, uh, yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> if, if, um, we get it. Two. <laughs> There's there's two guys. There's two videos you probably want to watch. You want to watch um our one one of our one last jobs uh, episodes. I think it's like. Of season two, episode thirteen or so, was one last job. Yeah, was. Um, that one is hilarious, and then our life on Mars about Matt Damon. <laughs> like just... you're not getting the full meme experience if you don't watch these episodes. <laughs> Go back, familiarize yourself with the meme. Uh, <laughs> Indulge. <laughs> yep. Uh, currently, I am making a game about puncting necromancers in a world of soulless magic. I, I give that tagline whenever I can. Um, I'm doing. I'm gonna start doing some streaming stuff because I started making art for it. Uh, you can check that out on my Twitter. I posted an overlay image. Nice. Um, I do want to stream a revolving campaign of a uh, Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. Um, not actually this because of C and D reasons. <laughs> um, a revolving campaign uh, at some point. So that might happen if I can actually. All right, that get sounds really cool. Running. It, w it would be fun, um, and I'll, I'll probably Band of Brotherhood like, of Steels, basically? Well, yeah, basically. You make your own Brotherhood of Steel, and then, like, oh, you okay. play recruits in the Brotherhood of Steel, and, That's like, cool. your, your central, like, uniting theme is that because you're all working for the same organization, every single individual squad, meaning every single cast from, like, week to week can, like, 
get rotate. meta knowledge yeah. on everyone else's yeah. going on it's just by like meeting troop, up in the yeah troop uh troop based play yeah exactly so cool. you have like your contiguous story and your little tributary stories cool so that might happen um and i'll probably start just streaming my actual design process in like a week or two because i want to i want to show how to make games yeah yeah that sounds that sounds that's fantastic. super important like i i i think that's my twitter like description now <laughs> like, the externalization of game design is just my twitter description i know you tweeted <laughs> it's, like, yeah. it's like you everyone needs to be involved never design in a vacuum never <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes um, totally and, and last but not least uh Tuxtradamus. Hello, I am Tuxtradamus. You see me here a lot, and it's super fun. Thanks again for having me, everybody for playing, Eric for running. Uh, I stream stuff over at twitch.tv slash Tuxtradamus Games. Uh, soon to be my Urban Shadows campaign, because Roll20 yeah. accepted. Roll20, um, you can now pick the Urban Shadows sheet, which is super cool. Very good so together. What is, what is Urban Shadows, yeah. for those who don't know? Um, it is The Wire meets Supernatural. It uh, takes place in a big city where, uh, kind of like this, there's like vampires, zom uh, zombies, werewolves, demons, wizards, wizards, and all that kind of stuff. And then it all focuses on being in one city where like there's factions, there's like vampire cults and werewolf packs that control like, they're basically like street gangs of werewolves and vampires that rule like the fancy rich people towers and wizards that... It's all sorts of all sorts of fun stuff, and that's gonna be yeah, starting up very soon. Awesome. I know a few people in chat were talking about like a, doing some sort of West Marchesy thing, and that's my vision for it. Is like people can join in whenever they can. Every yeah. session may or may not have different people in it. Like we just kind of see what happens in the city on that particular session. Yeah, and and, uh, and the best part of Power by the Apocalypse West Marches would be that people aren't like overpowered with levels, right? Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So and because and especially with that game too, because there's a good uh, idea. There's in that game. There's a corruption mechanic. So basically, the more powerful you become, also the more you lose control of yourself. And so at yeah. a certain point, you could just basically like, okay, so you became so dark that you, I now control your character, and they're going yeah. to become a faction, and they're going to be some evil oh, vampire that's yeah, trying to retired. kill everybody. Yeah, they're retired. Yeah, I like that tension. Uh -huh. The corruption mechanic is super cool, and I'm really and excited then, to get that. Then started. you might you might go on a camp. You some other players who are, might have been friends with that person have to go on a mission to redeem. Oh, right, exactly. Yeah. Like, Risk reward and then you get like them back. So then you get them back as a player. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. yeah that would be so yeah. cool. Yeah, that's all. Really all fun. the stuff in that game. When, when I was, I saw the game and I was reading it. and I'm like, this sounds like yeah. a great West March Z style drop in, drop out kind of thing. Oh, yeah. Just all uh, the stuff that it does. So an urban, cool. an urban that's... sprawl, um, West March Z game, done right seems primo. Like that's mm -hmm. that, that's for me. That would be that's my jam. I would definitely, yeah. I would definitely go on that show sometime. If I, mm -hmm. if I was, awesome. assuming scheduling's fine. I would love to do that yeah. sometime, man. That sounds <laughs> that sounds right up my alley. That sounds awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be super cool, um, and I will be get, very soon. I'm actually getting talking with a friend of mine to get some like overlays and stuff made for it, and so once those are done, I'm, I have ideas. Like stuff is percolating, and so yeah. probably in the next couple of weeks we'll be getting that started. Awesome, cool. Looking forward to it. And yeah. uh, and for those who don't know me, uh, I'm Aaron, I'm Eric. I'm Eric Volgaris here. Um, so I, I want to give a quick shout out to Roll Twenty for for featuring me yeah. today. Uh, Very that's cool. so cool of them that they did that. Um, yeah. Honestly, I can't thank them enough. I know, I know, I kind of like, kind of complain sometimes when I'm playing Microscope <laughs> about Roll Twenty. <laughs> <But like, laughs> Those text uh, boxes, man. Yeah, Those text it's boxes. just my. I, I, you watch me. I'm just like text boxes, te uh, text boxes. Why? <laughs> and um, but this is honestly like I cannot say enough how how awesome it is that they're they're featuring every other there are people on their on their roll twenty um playing index. That's so it's yeah. so nice. I encourage any content creator who uses roll twenty as much as like I do or even less, um any kind of game if you're streaming it or, or doing anything like that online on uh, using roll twenty um. Reach out to them. Reach out to I think Stephanie or I think it's just Roll Twenty at Roll Twenty. I don't know team at Roll Twenty dot net. Um, they have a blog post about it. Um, get on that list. Uh, this is awesome because they're 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 doing this and they're 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 they want to know your feedback. They want to know what they can do to give back to hmm. their major users, and that's so awesome of them. Like that is. They're a startup, and like they probably have so many other things they could be spending their time on. And so they're like, "No, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna thank our customers. We're gonna thank the our, our primary mm -hmm. users and everybody who watches here. That's so cool. That is so fucking awesome. It's how you do consumer uh, goodwill? That is yes. yeah. Like I would never not use Roll Twenty. Like I will I will write about awesome the text boxes, now. but I will I am <laughs> I'm a I'm a lifelong user of it now. Um, yeah. I can't believe so, I haven't finished uh, filling that out yet. 
Yeah, like, it's just, yeah, so, definitely. Oh my super bio. Good. Uh, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have to do a bio. Right about but, myself. Um, Darn it. <laughs> so, uh, so, so once I do once upon a game. For those who back uh, a little bit about me, I do once upon a game. It's this indie one shot storytelling game. I do it Sundays here at nine in the morning to about twelve thirty one o'clock, um, uh, in the morning here and to the afternoon on Sundays in the evening it's 12 hours later so I do it actually at night it's from from 9 p.m pacific to um mm-hmm. 12 30 1 o'clock a.m uh and I do that as well on Wednesdays so mon- so Sundays Mondays and Wednesdays are my are my schedule for once upon a game um once again February is all about romance games uh coming up this week I have uh oh I'm off work tomorrow so uh, I'm gonna be doing a bag a double header uh, tomorrow morning, I'm doing It Was a Mutual Decision, which is a game about uh, two people breaking up, and one of them may be a sociopathic were-rat murderer, um, <laughs> and, which is a really cool game by Ron Edwards um, of Sorcerer fame. Uh, and then I'm also playing Monster Hearts again with a different group, so that's cool. going to be a lot of fun. Not entirely. Not entirely. Not entirely. <laughs> What's up? Both yep. What's up other people? Yeah. So, we're, so, we're, are... so one, yeah, it's going to be so much fun. So, double header tomorrow. Um, that's Tuesday. I'm going to be streaming probably more Darkest Dungeon. And uh, anyways, if you want to know more, uh, check out my calendar at um here uh, at either below at Twitch or ericvogaris.com slash schedule. Um, and yeah. also if you you know if you really enjoyed this play, um, hit me up, uh, and I can send you the link to my Discord channel. Um, I posted that earlier. I'm going to post it again after this. Um, join me on there. Say hi. Say hello. Um, I have a link to all my scheduled games. I have spaces for new players. You don't have mm-hmm. to wait forever to get into a game because um, I know my schedule is kind of limiting depending on your time zones. So um, I ho- hopefully, you, if you're interested in playing, check that out. Um, then, yeah, thank you so much. Play more games. Just just play games. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, do it. Do it. Play all the games. Yeah. Don't be don't be afraid to play games. A lot of there's so many games out there that require no like zero prep or anything like that. Just it requires one person to know the rules and you just wing it. And trust me, they just play like fantastic movies and it's okay. Yep. It's so much fun. There's, there's so many cool games out there. So if you want uh, proof, go to the YouTube. Yeah, go to go to YouTube <laughs> once upon a game and check out all of those things that we played. Um so that name in the way too. Yeah. <laughs> that will that will do it. That will do it for us tonight or this this afternoon. So, um, take care, everybody. Uh, see ya. Bye. Bye. Thank you.